Oh, ooh. Yeah, this is like... Ooh. I call this the forgotten Marvel event. Yeah. Despite its, like, deliberate epicness. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. And today, I thought we'd talk a little bit about what I like to call the forgotten Marvel event, known as Fear Itself, written by Matt Fraction, with art by Stuart Immonen. It's an award-winning team, and I can't imagine this series not working, and that's why it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, no, it works out. Actually, it's a really, really fun event. Compared to most of the Marvel events, especially more recent ones, mm. this is, like, tight. It has a central cast. They have, like, a plan. And it makes sense. Obviously, building off of the, like, old FDR quote of, like, we have right. nothing to fear, but fear itself. Right. Oh, I thought it was, like, um, walk soft and carry a big stick. <laughs> right. Well, then it would be called, like, big stick or something. <laughs> So does fear itself show up? Be like, hey, I'm fear itself. Yep. Like, ah, we need to be afraid of you. More or less. Yeah. Yeah. And FDR like rises from the grave and he's like, oh no! (laughs) I knew this day would come! Yeah, that's my FDR. That's why I have a big stick! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And then he vanquishes it. Uh, The story is kind of like Thor-centric. It takes place um, after Siege, where Asgard is destroyed by the Sentry. Okay. Uh, Sentry is killed uh, by Thor, and the Asgardians are kind of like refugees on Earth. Okay. And, uh, so, like, all of Asgard is kaput. Yeah. The whole city was demolished by the century, so, like... For now. For right. now. Well, that's the thing, is that, like, okay, so, we go to, like, Broxton, Oklahoma, and we see that, like, Asgard is destroyed, and the Avengers are there, and, like, the idea was that, like, everyone's kind of, like, sad and miserable, so, like, Cap and Iron Man are like, let's put on, like, a big showy um, spectacle where we do, like, a humanitarian effort, or as as Guardian effort, where we, like, Pledge to rebuild Asgard, okay. like both human and superhero and Asgardian alike. Like we all working together to rebuild Asgard. There's this moment. Remember how we were reviewing um, Thor number one, and we we're like, "Why is Odin such a douche?" Yeah, yeah. he's a huge douche in this book. Mm. Oh, and God like, damn it! Because Odin is in Asgard, like in the ruins, mm-hmm. and he's just like sitting up there and he's watching them, and he's like, and the the crows that like watch for him are like, you know, what's going on down there? And he's like, the the, the ants are trying to. Like be godlike, and they're all a bunch of feckless buffoons. Meh. And like, Thor Jeez. shows up, and he's like, "What's going on, Odin?" Like, he's like, "Oh, like I could rebuild Asgard, but with a whisper or a snap of my fingers, but I choose not to. I don't, I don't want to rebuild it, and I especially don't want like you and your your half wit human eyed friends to like help me. I don't need your help. I'm Odin." And you're like, "What? Why is Odin being a bitch?" Yeah, and apparently it's because. The serpent has returned, or there's like this inkling that the serpent will return, and it comes. That is the serpent is the <laughs> thing of Ragnarok, right? Yeah, like, that's what devours oh, the world. Yeah, oh. the serpent has awakened, uh, or at least Odin believes the serpent is awakened, and we know this because a Captain America villain known as Sin or the Red Skull's daughter has unearthed an ancient Mjolnir-esque hammer from the Arctic that was lost during, like, the Second World War when, like, the invaders, which was, like, Cap and Namor and Bucky, and they wind up, like, misplacing it. And so, like, she and her, like, Nazi friends find it in current day. And when she picks it up, she becomes, like, an an evil Asgardian-type character. So it's whoever is not worthy? Oh, they're called the worthy. That's not... It's, they didn't even play with it. No, it's... Uh, well, then she becomes, like, the the you know, the servant of the serpent. And she, like, goes and finds, like, this really old dude in, like, a underwater prison or something. And Why does that remind me a lot of the first Hellboy movie? He is kind of like the first Hellboy movie. Like, this woman walking around, she's like, I have to reawaken this dead god. Yeah. And I have a big hammer. And he's old. Yeah. And it's kind of like that. So, like... There's not this maze of blood, though. No, There's it's Nazis not. There's Nazis and stuff. There's Nazis and stuff. Yeah. Good call. So, like, Sin uh, becomes whatever the hell her name was, and I don't remember what her name is, what her Asgardian name is, but it really doesn't matter. Yeah. So the new character that she becomes doesn't exist anymore, I right. guess, I assume. So it doesn't really matter. No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's a real was. character. Like, the Red Skull was like, I need to have an heir at some point or another. And so, like, he bangs some, like, chambermaid, and then, like... She kills her. Or she he, dies in childbirth, and then he, it's a girl. Yeah, she dies in childbirth when yeah. he strangles her. Right. No, she actually does. Red skull. She dies in childbirth, and then he's like, oh, it's a girl, I'll kill her. And then, like, somebody's like, oh, I'll raise her in secret, and then whatever. 
doesn't matter. But like she was she was a long standing character. Mm-hmm. Um and then like she helped like she helped assassinate Captain America during like the Civil War story oh. and and then uh during Captain America's like inevitable return, um they were trying to put Red Skull's essence into Captain America's body and it backfired and like there was an explosion and her face burned off. So like she has a red skull too. Oh. Like father like daughter yeah so that's how that's the setup so like she goes and like finds sin or she finds the serpent so she wakes up the serpent and so it like makes odin freak out because odin knows the prophecy of the serpent is that the serpent will destroy everything wait this is but i thought this was after ragnarok yeah it is yeah yeah, yeah. that is another ragnarok why well it's gonna happen to like the earth oh, oh, so the first one was it. to asgard and now yes it's- now it's to earth that seems dumb. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't think there was an actual Ragnarok for Earth. Ragnarok 2. I'm sure there probably isn't, <laughs> the but they made it up. So, uh, More rag. What'd you call More it? Rock. I called it the Reckoning, but oh, I should have called it the Ragnaring. Ragnaring. <laughs> the Ragnaring. Ragnarok 2. Rock harder. <laughs> or on the rag. <laughs> oh, rag and around the rock now. <laughs> Thor, like, really, like, reads Odin the Riot Act. For being such a douche, being yeah, like a good donor, yeah, and uh, so Odin like snap smacks the shit out of him, and then makes him unworthy of Mjolnir. Oh, oh fuck, he can so do that. Like, yeah, it's his, it's his hammer. So he like makes Mjolnir drop, and then he like smacks the crap out of him, and then he calls all the Asgardians, and he's like, "Let's go!" So then all the Asgardians follow th- uh, Odin and carry a like prisoner of war, Thor across the Bifrost and into the new Asgard that Odin created. Oh. But the new Asgard looks more like an asteroid in the middle of nowhere because it's a war Asgard. It's like, we don't have time for niceties and, and gold. Like we have, to, we have to create like a stronghold to prevent the oncoming you know, horde. Right, but remember the whole thing about you could snap your fingers and just bring it all back? Yeah. Why don't you just snap your fingers and make it a giant fortress? Because it's in the prophecy and I'm Odin and a douche. What is the, uh, why does the Watcher show up? Because it's a significant event happening, and the Watcher's kind of like, so Odin, what are you doing? And Odin's like, oh, I don't like you! <laughs> yeah, I bet you don't. Yeah. Anyway, you can't do anything. Anyway, I'm a big alien. Okay. Well, he shows up, and Odin starts screaming at him. Yeah. Are you here to see a god die? And I'm just like, Peace. Peter, and he's like, only a coward would avert his gaze, so... Yeah. It's like, shut the fuck up, Odin. Yeah. So this is why he's smacking Thor around. Yeah, well, because the, 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 right the reason why he fun. does all this is because the only way that the serpent can be defeated is if Thor kills him. But oh. Thor will die. Okay. So in order to save his son, he will humiliate him and then knock the shit out of him. Well, Odin knows that the serpent will destroy Midgard, and he knows that Thor will never let that happen. Okay. So he knows if Thor defends Midgard, he'll succeed, but he'll also die. And he doesn't care about the Midgardians, so he's like, whatever, like, but who cares? What the fuck does it matter? They already came back once. Right, I know, like, you'd think that, like, death is dead in this world. And it is, because, you know, uh, spoiler warnings, Thor dies at the end, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's back, like, a few months later. <laughs> like, he died, like, three times in the last, like, five years. It's, it's really pathetic, actually. So... So Odin's plan is to just let the Earth be destroyed. Yes. Okay. So that Thor doesn't die and then come back a couple months later. Right. Exactly. Because right. uh, I think Odin's thinking like if if well he doesn't like, know he's gonna come back. No. Like Odin doesn't know that editorial do. won't let Thor die. Right. So he's like worried. All right. That's fair. He's also like, look, we all died, and like it's only by the grace of whatever exists out there that like we didn't die for good. Yeah. But, but like how next many time ch- though it will yeah. be. Definitely for It'll real. Be for real. Uh, like, I can definitely understand that, especially mm-hmm. from a father's point yeah, of view. Yeah, exactly. Just like, no, it's my son, but... Does Odin, he have to be such a dick about Odin's it? a dick! You're not supposed to know why he's beating him up. <clears throat> no, that's... Like, he doesn't explain the plan. Like, I'm beating you up so that you won't save the Earth. <laughs> Don't you understand? <laughs> Don't I, you love love you, you. I love you, Thor! I love you so much. <laughs> he's like, got him in a headlock. Yeah, no. just choking him out. <laughs> you gotta stop this! <laughs> I love you, Odin. You're son. my son. Ah. They just cry and then watch the Wonder Years together. <laughs> so uh, the superheroes are like, so so the Asgardians leave and the superheroes are like, we were in the middle of like building a city so for you. Do we keep building? Or... Right. Uh, and then, but they don't have time for that right now because Sin has fallen upon the Worthy, which is a whole crapload of of hammers. 
that oh. are only Wait, a wieldable. Bunch of hammers? Yeah. Oh, They're fuck. only wieldable by bad guys. Or other guys that are good guys that become bad guys. Like Juggernaut? Like Juggernaut, who is kind of a bad guy in this story. I don't remember. But he turns into a, another character. And they're all like evil Asgardian characters who I think actually do have some kind of like roots in mythology. Please okay. tell me the Hulk doesn't get a hammer. Hulk does get a hammer. Holy he becomes shit. Null? Is this Red She-Hulk? Yes. I didn't even know there was a Red She-Hulk. There is. Her story is not worth telling. Okay. She so, gets hotter when she... <laughs> She, she gets hot. angrier. Yeah. She gets redder and she wears less clothes. That's, that's actually true. She gets, oh, yeah. A, a bunch of characters like the Juggernaut, the Thing, uh, the Hulk, um, Titania from Secret Wars. Well, oh. all these big, beefy people, apparently. Yes, all get hammers and then they, like, become world breakers or some shit. Like, they, they each are. Skurn, breaker of men. Yeah, they're all. No, breaker of worlds. Yeah, they're all determining which thing they break. Right. Based on what hammer they wield. Breaker of men? Curse. Curse. Breaker of stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course, of course Titania is the breaker of men. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so hot. So while um the, the bad guys all have, or rather, while some of the heavy hitters in the Marvel Universe all are, like, knocking the shit out of the Marvel Universe with their hammers and crap, mm-hmm. uh, Sin launches a blitzkrieg on the uh, capital. Nice German. Uh, word to Thank you. Well. Yeah, well, it's very appropriate. She uh, attacks Washington D.C. and New York with like Nazi exo squad suits. Oh well, yeah, oh, it she is... blows up the Capitol. Yeah, and it is barely a footnote in the story. Like uh. she does that, right? But who cares? Because the serpent is coming. Like there's too many like random things yeah, that are taking geez. place in this. When the serpent becomes like more strong and powerful, he makes fear like permeate throughout everyone in Midgard. So. They're more susceptible to being afraid. Okay. So, like, people are panicking and rioting, and the superheroes are, like, more reluctant to help and save the world. So the serpent is fear. Yes. He is fear itself. Ah. So when does Asgard build, like, gigantic tank, like... Oh, you know, well, they they picked up a few things from... From us. (laughs) Okay. Um, Oh, another thing to note is... I mean, they fire hammers. (laughs) (laughs) Uh... The other thing to note is that Steve Rogers, the Captain America we all know and love, yeah. is not Captain America right now. Oh, who's Captain um, America? Bucky. Oh, okay. Has uh, has become Captain America. Okay. And of course, Sin, on the like steps of the Capitol, kills him. Is she like rips out to his yeah. She like rips out his uh, his mechanical arm. Oh. His mechanical d- arm. arm. So wait, Bucky dies? Yeah. Does he come back? Yeah. He doesn't really die. Like, you think he dies. Well, because she... there's a big hole in his chest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, into his chest. Yeah, like, yeah. through his heart. Like, he doesn't have it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So he he dies. Later on, they, they establish that, like, Cap had him, like, rushed someplace, and then he was going to be, like, a... He was going to return to being the, the Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like, more like a... Like a black ops type character, where he's like, "I'm gonna be Captain America again, but I need you to like keep fighting the good fight." Like on the now that people think you're dead, yeah, we're gonna send right. you back out there. Yeah, it's a little bit like Grayson. I can see that. So, you know. oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, on the table. Why is green shit leaking out of him? That's actually like fluid from his like mechanical arm. It's, yeah, from the the torn off it's antifreeze metal arm. Yeah, yeah. Really. yeah, there you go. Who's yeah. the Winter Soldier? Yeah. <laughs> gotta keep that thing so, lubricated, man. That, so, if that thing uh, locks up on him, he's stuck. Yeah, if I you know. go to Siberia, you gotta make sure you have exactly. Money for using him. So the, the 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 holy trinity of the Marvel universe, aka Cap, Iron Man, and Thor, like team up, and they're like, let's go kill the serpent. Wait, well, why wouldn't they team up? They're on the Avengers. Well, uh, I know, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> when did Thor get... Thor breaks out? Oh, Thor breaks out. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah, and uh, and then he's like, okay, I know the plan now, guys. Like, Odin is gonna let the world get destroyed because he wants me to not die. Oh, and by the way, I'm worthy again, so I'm gonna get my hammer. Well, oh yeah, totally. Well, how'd that happen? It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> oh, because he broke out. He, right. Because oh. he broke he broke out and he's proving his will to fight. Well, he didn't. <laughs> that makes him worthy because then if he's if he has a fighting spirit, if he dies again, he'll get resurrected. Right. I don't even think he's unworthy. Bullshit. I think he's just like you can't lift it right now. Keep it in this. That's the serpent. Oh, okay. The serpent's a dude. Yeah, the serpent is just a big. Is just an old guy. Why isn't oh, the I serpent? Be a, like serpent. a serpent. He becomes a serpent at the end. Oh, thank God. He should be a serpent the whole time. I, Spoilers. Well. I already told you Thor dies at the end of this damn thing. So uh, Iron Man flips out because he's like, Oh, 
don't I don't accept that Odin won't help us. What a douche. Right. Like, okay, I get that like you're not gonna use your godlike powers to like help us, but like at least give us a fighting chance. Right. Do something. Um, also, but, your son escaped and is fighting with us anyway. Right. So, so the whole idea was to save him and now he's down here fighting. Well, so. and at, I think at that point Odin's kind of like, well then I guess I'll just try to put as much emotional distance between me and my son <laughs> as possible so I don't feel so and, bad and, when and, and not help the earth for no reason. Well, because na- well, if you guys weren't so damn charming and wonderful, Thor wouldn't love you so much oh. that he's willing to die. So you can see why I don't like you very much. Like that's the, I see. Every, just, just assume, no, what would an asshole just like, Son is supposed to die for me, yeah, all right? Exactly. For me and my people. Fuck you, people. Yeah. Right. Fuck Midgard. Uh, so I raised him up to be a good little Asgardian. He goes off and he's t- dealing with these Midgard tramps. Yeah. It's sad. It's like yeah. It's very much a, a metaphor between for a uh, for a young fella dating a, a disreputable woman. I think. Well, like disreputable in the fact that like the dad is racist and thinks that she's disreputable. Oh, Meanwhile, she's just a perfectly nice lady. Oh, so you're you're a you're a you're an Earth booster. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Iron Man goes to Asgard or like the ruins of Asgard, and he's trying to get Odin's attention. And like the big character moment for Iron Man is he's like I like he won't listen to me if I just start screaming at him or like try and like fight Thor or anything like that. So he's like I will sacrifice my dignity in order to get your attention. So he pops open a bottle of like alcohol and then drinks it. Okay. Looks like he breaks his sobriety. Oh. And he's just walking around naked. No, because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> and he never took a drink, even during the Civil War, when all of his friends were like dying around him and he was an asshole. Um, so he, Odin cares it. about that? Well, Odin's kind of like, what? What do you want? Well, that, no, that's a really funny part, because he's just like, why would, you dis- why would you not drink alcohol? Right. I'm alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. We're Asgardians. We that's drink awesome. 24-7. Exactly. <laughs> So um, I don't I don't understand why he would stop. Right. Um, the 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 idea, by the way, is like because Odin's like I'm not going to help you. Like I'm not like I don't I'm not going to send any Asgardians to help you. I'm not going to. And Iron Man's like no 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 like that's a cool. I just want access to like your weapons room. Okay. And so Iron Man goes to like the place where Mjolnir was forged, and he uses his brilliant former weapons manufacturer mind to create Asgardian weapons for the Avengers. Okay. Oh, shit. To go up against the Asgardian weapons of the bad guy. Exactly. Well, he's a weapons manufacturer, so, like, you know, it makes sense. Yeah. I'm going to create an Asgardian nuke. (laughs) Just off the entire Earth. Yeah. No, I'm just going to blow up all of Asgard again, unless you come and help us. Oh. That would have been amazing. (sighs) But he doesn't do that. He's like, thanks for the access to to the one thing that I could kill you with. Um, oh, the other the, uh, you you you're, you open to a page that I realized like what is happening. The serpent is really old when he like first is found, but the more fear that is like raised and the more like power he gets, the younger he looks, oh. the more like vibrant he becomes. Well, it's a shame he picked Earth because we're a bunch of fucking chickens. Oh, I know. The serpent breaks Cap's shield, oh, and shit. Uh, by the way, Iron Man doesn't even like. Wait, the serpent break Cap's shield? Yeah, I thought no, Sin doesn't break it. I'm sorry, Sin oh, just okay. kills Bucky. And then the serpent breaks Cap Shield to guess, show how strong he is. I was gonna say for like Sin to yeah. break Cap Shield, that's I, a lot. I think that would have been cooler, but whatever. well, especially because she's part of like yeah, the she's whole, the Red Skull's daughter. daughter. Yeah. yeah. No. <sighs> the other thing that I should point out is like Iron Man doesn't actually show up with his Asgardian weapons until the end of the book. So he leaves like almost halfway through the book. But there's like a good third of the book left to go. I know. So yeah. uh, well, because you're supposed to like really. Think that things are gonna go bad for him. Yeah, like they're they're fighting on the ground here. They're just getting their asses kicked in every page. Yeah, yeah. and we illustrate everyone's reluctance through Spider Man, who is like the most moral and responsible character, saying like, "I have to leave. I can't fight this." Right. And so he ditches. Well, that's good. And he goes. He would die. <laughs> he ditches and he goes to find Aunt May, who's being um, ushered off the off of Manhattan Island. And Aunt May finds him, and by the way, she doesn't know who he is, but in this book, she clearly knows who he is. So, uh, he finds Aunt May, and Aunt May's like, you know, where's Peter? And he's like, oh, Peter's fine. And she's like, well, then what the hell are you doing here? You have a responsibility to take care of us and go fight whatever's out there. And he's like, yes, ma'am. And then he goes back and he joins the Avengers. Like, it's, <laughs> it's a fun little moment. But there's another moment. How, how like, great is this? We're like, well, then you should go back and die. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, I need I the insurance money. <laughs> 
<laughs> then I should die as one of them. I gotta get, I gotta pay off my bingo debt. <laughs> the members of Broxton, Oklahoma, who mm. were all like gung ho about the Asgardians to begin with, from like the get go. Right. When this war broke out, yeah. probably like turned their opinion real quick. No, they joined Captain America's like little mil little militia. What? Oh. And so at the end of the day, like. The heroes are fighting over here, like some heroes are fighting over here, but for the most part, like no one, no power players are left or are around. And Cap's the only one who's strong enough to like fight Sin head or uh, fight the serpent head on. And so he's like, "Well, then I need an army." So he goes to the town, and the town's like, "Okay." <laughs> so it's just Cap with like a rifle and a whole bunch of regular people, <laughs> and he's like, "We're all Avengers now. Let's go." And we're so, all going to go die, but right. we're dying on our feet. So because these people start rising up and fighting, does that mean Sin becomes weaker? Oh, you I'm know, not saying Serpent becomes, Serpent becomes weaker yeah. because they're being less afraid. He, he doesn't go like, oh, my power, but like, yeah. Thematically, yes. And then Iron Man shows up with all of his, with all of his weapons, and everyone gets like silly enhancements, and then they go and fight him. Do they each get a name? Like the other no, things get, the, well, like breaker of world. Well, no, because when they become, um, when the when the bad guys get their hammers, they actually are imbued with power <clears> from <throat> like they become another guy. Like they're possessed by an actual uh, Asgardian. Okay. These guys just get cool weapons that Stark made for them. What basically. does Spider-Man get? He gets these silly claws that he never uses in this in the book. That's lame. It's so lame. But Wolverine becomes like a demon knight. With, like, fire claws or something. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. He I, also doesn't do anything. There should be absolutely nothing that makes his claws change. No. Who's this? That's Doctor Strange. Yeah. Oh, what does he get? He gets, like, a silly staff thing with wings on it. Why wasn't Doctor Strange, like, doing anything before? I didn't even see him. At this point, book. Doctor Strange had relinquished his title as Sorcerer yeah. Supreme. Oh. Because he failed to stop the Hulk from, um, smashing during World War Hulk. <laughs> oh. Amongst other things. I see. Oh, shit. This is awesome. Well, I mean, Hawkeye just looks like he has a regular bow, so that's... It's an know. Asgardian bow, man. Yeah. Ooh. It's like an elven <laughs> bow. <laughs> it's a legless bow! Yeah. Um, no, Red Hulk has this giant fucking glaive. Yeah! That's cool. By the way, at the end of the book, everyone takes their weapons, and they throw, and, like, Iron Man throws them into the fire, but Red Shield looks like, I'm gonna keep my glaive. Yes! <laughs> that's awesome. And Miss Marvel has this huge battle axe. Yeah. That's cool. That is pretty kick-ass. It is. And I'm guessing that's Black Widow? Yeah, she gets, like, double swords and shit. They're crazy, like edged and fang. Like those are those are World of Warcraft weapons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does Iron Man get? I think his suit is actually Asgardian, but it's like weird yeah, it looks weird. It looks stupid. Yeah. He should look. There's actually in the old cartoon show Avengers: Earth's Mightiest Heroes. There's a scene like this, and Iron Man makes like a big fucking thing made out of like Uru metal and shit, and you're like, that's cool. It should at least like it's way cooler. He should at least have giant things on his arms or legs. Yeah. Nope. It should basically be the Hulkbuster armor. Oh, mm. here we go. It looks all fiery. Okay. Oh, that's him? Yeah. It looks like the friggin' uh... It looks like Wolverine stuff. He looks like the Destroyer. Yeah, he looks like the Destroyer. Oh. Spider-Man Spider glows. Gets, like, he looks like Tron. Glow. Yeah. In fact, everybody looks kind of like Tron. Spider-Tron. Yeah. Okay. Wait, does Cap get a new shield? Uh, no. He doesn't get a new shield at all. He just fights. And then, of course... And then, there by the way, go. let's wrap it up. The serpent, like, emerges. Like, he becomes... Finally becomes a serpent. A serpent. And then Thor, like, kills him and he dies. Like, there's no real, like, explanation as to how the serpent really kills Thor. They're just, like, they're, they're, they're both grappling. And then... You can tell, like, Thor kills the serpent by, like, yeah, stabbing him. stabs it. it with this thing. But then Thor just dies. Because the prophecy said he was gonna die. Wait. It's two pages. Thor and the serpent just like destroyed each other in two pages, and that was it. Yeah, and the other characters didn't even get to use their weapons. But except because the shield is destroyed, <laughs> Cap picks up Mjolnir, <laughs> which you're gonna see in Avengers Two: Age of Ultron. Oh, really? Well, you know, no. and then Odin shows up to watch his son die, and then Thor dies, and everyone's like, "Yay, I guess we won!" So finally, wait, why does Odin decide to show up at the end? I don't understand. Oh, Odin's like Odin's heart grows his three sizes that day, and then he and like the rest of the Asgardians show up just just once the, the last battle's one. already over. Yeah, and that's it. How stupid! And because the serpent dies, the hammers lose their effectiveness, and like you know, well, I mean that's kind of fair. Thor just kind of falls with. With the, the serpent. serpent, and then the serpent blows up. Yeah. And I guess Thor was killed in the explosion. I'm, I guess. You'd think, like, an expl explosion, really? But no, he's prophesized to die. He doesn't, like, quite die. He's like, but father, and then he dies. 
So then, <laughs> uh, breath. Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to live anymore. Oh, just kill me now, Jesus! The so memory then, of it. <laughs> they have like a like a a memorial for Thor and uh, and Bucky Cap, and then Odin is like, peace, and then he leaves, but strands the Asgardians on Earth. What? Why? Because he's sad and he wants to be alone. So he goes to Asgard and closes the door. So the Asgardians are trapped on Earth with the heroes. In the destroyed ruins, ruins of their forces. <laughs> Nothing Odin does makes any sense. No. Odin's pretty much just like a giant bipolar asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes! No. Yeah. That, that, all right. Yeah. It seems like a fun ride. It's a fun ride, but ultimately, great art. Who gives a shit? Yeah, it's that's why it's kind of like the forgotten story because like a lot happens. Like the capital is destroyed by yeah. Nazis, but but we don't have time to examine worry about that. that or no, talk about it because the serpent is attacking. Like you could have one or the other, but See, they try to have both, and it kind of works. I would still totally read this though. That's the thing. It's still a fun ride. Yeah, and all the characters are cool, and there's a thousand tie-ins that have nothing to do with anything and so who gives a fuck yeah. the only thing that's kind of interesting is like because the thing became an evil Les Guardian thing like he killed a bunch of people mm. and so he's kind of like living with the guilt of like even though he didn't really kill them like right. what about the Hulk the Hulk same deal like but you know the Hulk accidentally kills people all the time yeah <clears throat> he's used to that yeah he's a monster <laughs> no I'm, I'm fine yeah want to kill a lot of people again oh well yeah <laughs> yeah I mean As if Guardian, I wasn't okay me... with that I'd have Killed myself a while ago, said so I can't. So I do. I turned the whole. Well, they could have just if they can put me on a rocket that winds up on like a war planet, and they can do Planet Hulk, then they could probably put him on a rocket and send him into the sun. Or maybe Sue yeah, Storm could, could just constant keep yeah, concentrating keep the... and keep the bubble over me, and then I'll just asphyxiate and die. Yeah. Well, the problem with that is that like number one, the Hulk knows that trick already, and number two. The Hulk will flip out and like use his clapping power to like blast a shockwave at, at her. Like she uh, needs to be within range. She can't well, just like do it. What from, if like, she did it from behind him? She just comes up behind. Like, well, I, well, I mean, like it well, I guess it, he'd still have a few seconds to like turn around. Yeah, he would turn her. around or yeah. he would flail or something. And the editors will just not let her do that. What but, is like, her range? I don't know what Sue Storm's range is, but I assume it's like probably within sight. Reason. Yeah, it's not quite like. Nightcrawler's teleporting ability, but it's like I assume she can't like make something invisible in Paris from here. Mm -hmm. Cool moments though. I mean, like everybody gets souped up as Guardian Armor. Yeah, that's cool. Thor that fights cool. a giant dragon. Yeah. Um, Nazis attack the United States for a second. For a second, Cap's shield is destroyed. Oh, Iron Man takes it when he's like throwing all the weapons into the fire, and he asks the dwarves or whatever who are running that forge to repair the shield. Okay. So they do. They do, but there's a big crack in it, like the Liberty Bell. Oh. And it's a, I, I thought it was a kind of neat little thing. He's, he's like, they couldn't do anything about the crack. And Cap like, just holds it, and he's like, oh, it gives the girl a little character. And I'm like, that's kind of fun. I <laughs> like the cool. idea that like Captain America has a shield, and there's just a crack in it. It's kind of like, it, it could represent so much more. It could represent like the Civil War, and how like mm. sometimes we're divided. Or like, that you know, America, like it requires a lot more effort than you think it is. It's not pristine. It's like, there's a couple blemishes, but it's okay. Like, Does it still have a crack? Nah. Look at this picture of Steve Rogers. He yeah. looks like a little kid holding this broken pieces of his... My sword, my, my, my shield broke. Mm. Well, it also looks like he did it accidentally because yeah. he's, not, he's not pissed off at someone else. No, he's, like, he's just like, oh, I tried too hard and I broke it, man. <laughs> You're not supposed to throw that, Steve. You can't just fling that shit. It's a shield. You hold it up against yourself. You don't wing it at people. It's not a Frisbee. Well, I What's the matter with you? I thought I could because, you know, it's round and Frisbees are round. Oh, oh do happens. you throw your dinner plates and everything? I'm like, what? What's the matter with you? Actually, I do. Well, don't. That explains the mess. Fear Itself by Matt Fraction and Stuart Eminent. It's a fun ride. I'd recommend it. It's just kind of silly. And, yeah. And you and it's always overshadowed by everything else that goes on. Because, mm. like, everything is so epic. Right. The art is good in this. Yeah. The Stuart art is good. Art is and the great. fact that, like, these great characters that you know get turned into these cool, yeah. awesome monsters. Yeah. yeah. These gods that have these, these giant hammers. That's that's fun. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. There's a lot of cool drawings in this book. <laughs> there are. It's a really cool sketchbook. Yeah. To the tune of a story. It's like a playlist. It's a little disappointing that like the event is not bigger. Like it's really just one big fight yeah. in one spot. Like you would think like Ragnarok destroying the earth would be like 
a global scene. Yeah, well, they well, you would also there are a lot of tie-ins. A lot that, fucking bigger. Yeah, yeah. Like big enough to actually eat the world. Oh, that'd be cool. Like, how's he gonna destroy the Earth? It would take him like months. Oh yeah, start at that size. Well, that's what's so horrific. So he'll like eat all all the people, and like you'd One still watch them. Yeah, maybe like well, maybe like eight or nine times. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching another episode of Back Issues. You can click this annotation here to see every episode of Back Issues we've ever done. And uh, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Uh, I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. See you guys next time on another episode of Back Issues. Mm -hmm.